Hello and welcome everybody to the Skill Bharat Samman podcast. And today we have a, with us a very special attendee, an award winner, uh, Miss Shilpi Shukla. If you could please introduce yourself to the audience and your school. Yeah, hi Shreyan. Uh, I am working as a principal uh, at Pradeshni High School, Bhosri. Uh, the school is forty years old school, and uh, yeah and uh, the most important part of uh, this, the most interesting part of the school is that the management over here they are themselves educators oh. so that's why the school is going at a different level uh, about me um, i am a engineer by profession i'm sorry can i do it again <laughs> yeah 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 i'll get it again Okay, okay. So about me, um, I am an educator by profession. Uh, I have done B Tech in mechanical and automation engineering, but a teacher by heart. So um, for me, it's like being uh, in school is like my life, which I am living each and every moment. Absolutely. Um, the school is basically, you know, the nowadays most of the schools they are focusing on. Um, IQ uh, of the children, right? Most of the schools they are thinking that the children should have best IQ, but we are the school who are also focusing on emotional intelligence of the students. So we have a lot of programs where uh, we keep on, you know, uh, maintaining the emotional intelligence of the child, which uh, I mean, balancing of left brain and the right brain. So this is what we do. Apart from this, we are the schools. I mean, we uh, Pradeshni Group of School is the one who brings in technology. I mean, we were the first ones to uh, install smart board in PCMC area. So, uh, if we talk about that, uh, we have taken robotics as uh, one of the skill subject. So, there's no doubt because uh, we wanted to have, we wanted to give best to our children. Absolutely. So, uh, you know, the fact that you are an educator by heart is all the introduction that you need. Uh, rest all is just yeah, you know a very very uh, honor to have you on this podcast ma'am so the first question from my side is that you know you're an example for schools not only in your area but also across the nation so what are the practices that y'all are doing you already stated a few but you know something that they can you know go back and a few examples which they can go back and replicate the audience like what are the practices that you all are doing to inculcate skills in your students yeah i'm sorry i started getting a call yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. can you please repeat yeah, yeah. application so what are the practices that you all are doing like uh, what do you do to inculcate skills in your students Okay, um, so regarding skills, um, there are a lot of things. Uh, I mean, skills is a very huge word, right? Yeah. So there are a lot of things which we actually do. See, we have got a very strong student council also in school. So um, strong student council means we are developing a lot of leadership skills in the students, right? So uh, this make them confident and to present themselves in front of others. Very strong student council means they have their own, I mean, they have their words in the school, like they can talk to management openly, they can talk to the principal, they can bring in their issues, the students' issues uh, openly in front of uh, the teachers as well as to the principal as well. So this is one of the things that we are doing. Apart from this, we have started with communication lab to build good communication skills. We have uh, started with financial literacy. Uh, from uh, smaller grades also and then uh, none other than OLL which has been introduced in the school uh, for the very first time and I'm glad to, uh, to see the kind of uh, sessions that are being conducted in the school and I wish that the children should be I mean they will be skilled with uh, robotics uh, they will have a lot of knowledge and apart from this I mean the sessions that are being conducted it is uh, these are the kind of sessions where uh, you know children are um, not only developing the skills for robotics, but also they are understanding what it is all about. So the basic sessions are more about understanding what robotics is. And then slowly and steadily, they will move ahead to what uh, how the robots are being made. 
yeah absolutely ma'am uh, you know the we talk about robots so like what are your thoughts on ai like uh, you know everybody is speaking about ai nowadays so uh, you know how can we prepare our kids so that ai doesn't replace our students jobs <laughs> so what i've heard from many people is that um, ai is actually replacing a lot of people's job but then it cannot uh, replace the people who are who know ai right yeah who can control ai <laughs> so yeah. the best part of this thing is that yeah so the children um, see everything has got their own pros and cons right so understanding the proper usage of ai ai will be there everywhere because i uh, i mean being a person i mean nowadays it's like each and every person is using ai knowingly or unknowingly yeah. many people don't even know that they're using ai but they're actually using ai correct correct <laughs> so it is that way. so um it it won't replace uh, people's job uh, the ones who are, who know ai properly so i think children should understand ai and uh, they should be able to apply this in their daily lives and once they are thorough with what ai is then definitely their jobs will not go anywhere absolutely uh, you know miss me being a student entrepreneur uh, when i started when i, I was in the grades but uh, i would love to know that what are your thoughts on entrepreneurship for kids you know uh, should kids learn how to start up how to build a company while they're in school so you know what are your thoughts on that shreyan you are an inspiration i would definitely like you to come to meet our children and explain how this came to your mind right um definitely yeah uh, children to know like um, nowadays i mean entrepreneurship has become you know it has it, it is now a fashion these days everybody Buzzer. wants to become an entrepreneur yeah <laughs> so um uh, this is actually a great uh, revolution that has come in india i mean this has been introduced by uh, pm modi ji make in india so i think this has this has actually come as a revolution and it is always great to become a job provider than being a job seeker hmm so uh, i would definitely uh, mot- i am a person who keeps on motivating children to become job provider rather than being job seeker so i am the one who would motivate them to become entrepreneurs absolutely definitely and we would require like at least i would have re- required a principal like you could have you know motivated me to become an entrepreneur so definitely a great inspiration ma'am you are uh, now let's dive deep into the rapid fire round uh, it's going to be like the rules are like i will say a question and you have to answer only in one word okay mm-hmm. so, <laughs> that's the difficult part yeah so uh, the first question is you have a board exam tomorrow and at the same day and time you have a international competition which one would you allow your students to go to <laughs> definitely board exam okay the second question is uh, if you could go back to school in today's time what would you learn as a student um, seriously uh, there are few things uh, can i give a sentence yeah. <laughs> the new things which are launched nowadays i think they are amazing like uh, being a person who is in a job should know how to pay tax Hmm. that was not taught in school so this is something which i feel that i should have learned correct right we always look for a ca to pay ta- pay our taxes so we we should actually be uh, we should be taught about financial literacy during our school day, school days right right absolutely and uh, if you had all the resources in the world all the money all the teachers all the infrastructure what would you introduce in your school for your students Hmm. This is a difficult one. Money, infrastructure, and everything is there. Teachers are also there, right? Uh, something. Something. What is that something? See, I don't know. I I am mechanical engineer, and my uh, things are. Oh, I mean, my interest is completely on machines. so yeah. i i always feel like having an automobile uh, lab in school 
because we know what tires are, what, what different types of cars, right? But how okay. do they function? It's difficult to understand. It is like each each part of the car is has got a different function. I think I should have an automobile lamp. Wow. So like a car disassembled so you can assemble it live. Uh, that yes. is, yeah, uh, definitely a great experience to like visualize. Uh, and you know, uh, this question is, I think I'll know the answer from your side, but I'll still ask it job seeker or job creator? Job creator, definitely. Yeah, and uh, should the kids focus on a degree or the learning outcome? Learning outcome, learning outcome, most important thing, not on degree. At all. Okay. Thank you so much, Miss, for giving your time on a working day in your school hours. And uh, we're very, very glad to have you on this podcast. Thank you, Shreyan. And pleasure to have you.